Welcome to your week-by-week -week pregnancy video series, brought to you by Ultrasound Dimensions, Medical and Maternity Ultrasound Centre. Welcome to Pregnancy Chat and welcome to week 23 of your pregnancy. I'm Monica Healy. Today I want to talk about what's happening this week with you and baby. By the 23rd week, the average baby is 11 inches or 26 centimeters from head to toe. She weighs approximately one pound or close to 500 grams, which is about the size of this uh, eggplant. And she'll only get, keep getting plumper all the time. Your baby is finally starting to look like a newborn. Her face and body are fully formed at 23 weeks, but she needs extra body fat to fill out her wrinkly skin. Baby actually produces skin faster than fat can accumulate. She is slender and delicate looking like this 3D image of an unborn 23 week fetus. Over the next month, fat production goes into overdrive and she will double in weight and size. Because she doesn't have enough fat yet, her skin is covered with soft, fine hair called lanugo that keeps her warm in the womb. At this stage in fetal development, your baby's body is becoming more proportional, but her head is still larger in proportion than the rest of her body. Her extremities are lengthening and her hands are well defined, again as you can see in this 3D 23 week fetus. Imagine you're only a little over halfway through your pregnancy and your developing baby is getting ready for her first breath. Baby's lungs develop rapidly in preparation for her life outside the womb and she begins to practice her breathing, breathing amniotic fluid in and out through her lungs. Blood vessels in her lungs are growing, developing also in preparation for breathing. The lungs are producing surfactant, an important substance that allows air sacs to inflate easily and prevent air sacs from collapsing or sticking together. Without enough surfactant, the lungs will collapse and the baby won't be able to breathe. The lung development is the biggest milestone for your baby during week 23. With the right care, if your baby is born at this time, it is possible that the lungs could function outside the womb and baby has a very good chance of survival. Your baby's sense of movement is developed now so she can feel you dance and move around. Don't be surprised if she starts kicking up a storm this week, especially if you're near a loud vacuum cleaner or in a noisy environment. You'd be surprised just how noisy your body is with the gurgling of your stomach and the sound of your heartbeat. The bones in baby's middle ear have hardened and she can pick up noises and sounds from the outside world. Baby will recognize your voice by its pitch, so spend some time talking to your baby. Research tells us that baby can hear male voices easier because they are lower tone than female high-pitched voices. Your belly is nice and round at 23 weeks and you have probably gained 12 to 15 pounds. The extra pounds you're carrying around can take its toll on your body. You're probably feeling more unbalanced and unsteady on your feet. This is because your center of gravity is shifting forward. To avoid falling and hurting yourself, try to slow down and be careful when you're walking. Also be wary of some unwanted comments about your weight. Every woman carries her weight differently and however you're carrying yours, it is more likely that your baby is just the right size. The weight you're carrying around along with your shift center of gravity can also strain your spine and back muscles. Back pain and discomfort is very common at this stage in pregnancy. To help ease your achy back, you may want to use a cold compress or an ice pack. A heating pad or a hot water bottle may also give you some relief, but please don't put the heat on the tummy, only on the back area. At 23 weeks, it's also common for you to notice mild swelling in your feet and ankles, especially at the end of the day. This is called edema, and it's the result of poor circulation in your legs and water retention and changes in your blood chemistry during pregnancy. Also, it's annoying to have swollen ankles and feet, but it's a normal part of pregnancy. You can minimize the swelling by wearing support stockings, exercising regularly, and wearing comfortable shoes. Also try to rest occasionally and elevate your legs when you do so. Don't stop drinking water and other fluids since dehydration can put you at risk for complications. Staying well hydrated actually helps with water retention and reduces the swelling. Your baby still has plenty of room to move around inside your uterus, so you can expect to feel strong fetal movements this week. When you lay down, you may even be able to see her kick or squirm about. Enjoy these special moments while you can. Here is a suggested checklist for week 23. To make an appointment for a glucose screening test, this screening checks for gestational diabetes, 
common pregnancy complication that affects 2 to 10 percent of all pregnant women. Most obstetricians and healthcare providers recommend that you take the test between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy. Start planning for maternity leave. Although you won't be going into labor for three months or so, you should start preparations. At 23 weeks, you should schedule a meeting with your supervisor to formalize arrangements in regards to your maternity leave. Depending on your field of work, you may also need to start training your replacement. Keep taking your prenatal vitamins. You might be halfway through your pregnancy, but you still need to continue to take your vitamins. Many pregnant women don't get all the vitamins and minerals that they need from their diet. Think of your prenatal vitamins as an insurance policy that ensures that your baby gets everything she needs to grow healthy and strong in the womb. So that's it for week 23. If you have any questions or comments, please join in the conversations in the forums at PregnancyChat.com. I can't wait to tell you what is happening during week 24. Until then, enjoy this pregnancy journey. These are the precious moments our lives are made of. I'm Monica Healy and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you're looking for a medical or maternity ultrasound scan, we can help. Since 2007, Ultrasound Dimensions has been trusted by over 31,000 patients and doctors. Our Enterprise Ireland award-winning team offers you convenient appointments, immediate results, and always takes the time to give you peace of mind. To schedule your appointment, contact us today.